Okay, there's the power for the air unit across where the camera normally would connect and it'll just go right down and plug into the XT30 connector that's on the air unit. And I chose to use UART 3 for the UART to the air unit for telemetry to the air unit and I'm doing ground on the video transmitters <coughs> ground pin there and transmit and receive right next to it on UART 3. I may have to switch these two around but we'll get it going and see how all that works out. Oh and by the way this had a wire for voltage I imagine I'm not using that. I didn't connect this. I just took ground and the other two out of the connector that comes for the uh, connecting the flight controller to the air unit. I'll probably remove this later. And like I say, I'll probably possibly have to switch the transmit and receive around to the in this. And I also did put a little Dragon Link antenna on the. Uh, Dragon Link receiver right here. So while I'm using it on the bench here, I don't damage it. I always need to have an antenna on any kind of transceiver. It transmits in addition to receiving. If it just received, it wouldn't need it. But seeing it transmits and receive, we want that on there for setup. Oh boy. Kind of frightened to say right now, it's almost time for power up. And first time power up and the first time power up is going to come in the form of this USB right here into that little daughter board for the 8743 right here that way this receiver won't be powered up the air unit won't be powered up there'll be several things that aren't powered up all right Let's see what happens. Well, there's no smoke. The flight controller's powered. The GPS was powered because it's a CAN bus. And the RC receiver nor the air unit came on. So, so far so good. Okay, I have removed the protective covering on the bottom of the double-sided tape on the air unit and on the flight controller and stuck them both down. They are now in their position. I had to put this extension on the battery to get it up into the battery compartment. The pigtail I put on it, soldered on it, wasn't quite long enough. But that is both of them stuck down ready to fly. I've done the accelerometer calibration, compass calibration, and most of it's up and running. I'd like to clean up that wiring a little bit somehow. I did have to switch around the transmit and receive going from the flight controller to the uh, air unit. As you can see down here, it shows I have 10 satellites, 1.3 HDOP, 16.6 volts on the battery. I am not connected right now to the USB. That's all coming from the uh, camera system. Every last bit of it don't have a very high quality on the streaming data right now that can be changed right here go up a little higher on it oh that got there we go it's a little higher quality I'm gonna keep it on the low it's not as good a quality video you can see the text right here kind of blurry streaming resolution if I take it up once it resets there it is reset you see this became more readable the recyclable there became more readable 
but that's okay. Uh, don't really need that perfect. So that means that I am getting the telemetry I wanted out of the flight controller into the air unit. That's really important for run. One main reason is because of that drifting horizon that is a known problem with uh, this system. And Ardu Pilot, Ardu Plane, Ardu Copter is the only firmware right now that has the ability to correct that problem in flight. Again, they are working on that for iNav. I expect iNav will have it available soon. Uh, but that is the main reason I connected telemetry from the flight controller to the air unit so that that problem can be auto-corrected in flight. All right. Well, we have another problem now. I'm trying to mount these antennas in this area just not going to work out for me. And the reason for that is, is this air scoop right here, there's a chamber behind this that goes all the way down to here. And there's a piece of uh, foam, hard foam, straight across with this wing inside this fuselage. Won't be able to see it, but I assure you when I feel in there, you can feel it. And the other problem is, even if I got holes made in this below that piece of foam, then these antennas are so large, putting them in there and trying to get them through that hole inside here is just not going to work for me. And unscrewing the antenna connector here and putting a hole in it. Well, I might be able to do that and then pull this wire. Is it gonna reach? No, it's not gonna reach. I'm starting to say I might be able to. Nope, it's not gonna reach. And I've got that air unit back as far as I can go. It's not going to reach. If I put a hole here, put this wire through it, there's not enough room for me to get this screwed on to the antenna again and then hot glue it in down through here. Boy, my next possible area would be to bring them here. Put them out the side here. I'm going to have to think on this one for a while. Boy, if I bring the antenna wires forward, that's as far forward as they both come from the air unit, so I can't get the antennas in this area. I guess I could put them in the top hatch. Then I'd have to screw them down each time I flu boy and I don't particularly love the idea of putting them right here at a 45 in each side with a compass GPS module up here but I think that's what I'm going to end up doing putting them in here on each side I wanted to get them in the back I really did want them back here to put some weight back here What to do, what to do, what to do. They don't really have to be pointing up. They could come out right here and be down at a 45 degree angle. It looked funny, but it's workable. The documentation shows them being oriented in this position on a quad straight down. Boy. Coming out there would be weird, wouldn't it? But that would keep more weight. I'm worried about center of gravity. 
that would keep more weight if I brought them out here at an angle uh, uh, uh. here at an angle down uh, that's in front of my center of gravity this is behind the center of gravity oh lord boy I'm, I'm just really stumped on this one this is the last thing I really have to do but See, I, this, this narrows, this, this fuselage narrows as it comes back. That's why I can't get these inside there to uh, back in this part anywhere after right here to put them through. Boy, that's going to look weird if they're coming out the side like that, pointed down. It would be functional, could be functional, should be functional. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Up here they could be up like this. That would still look weird, but be functional. Just worry it's so close to the GPS. Ah, oh, boy, boy, boy. I'm going to have to think about this one much, much longer. Okay. I think I'm going to put them about right here in the canopy at a 45. Don't like having this extra weight in front of the CG. Uh, worrying about having to put lead weights in the tail or something for get the CG right. But I could mount them in there like this and be able to screw to them yep and disconnect them so that these would be glued into the canopy and the connector can be screwed in and screwed out just well, don't know if that's going to mess with my battery if i put them through the wall like here something like that Craziness, craziness. Gonna have plenty of room to do that with these wires. Plenty of slack. I'm gonna put this in backwards for a second. there would be room inside there for these connectors on each side of the battery it would be up above the airspeed sensor on the other side over here as crazy as it sounds I think I'm going to mount them in the canopy isn't that crazy well, for better or for worse, there's my decision. I don't love it. Don't hate it. It's not the best under the sun, in my humble opinion, but there they are. Mm -mm -mm. Only good thing about this is the build of the Anaconda is completed. All that's left is software configuration. Clean this up a little. Man, really didn't want to have to do that. They're not connected right now, but I'll be able to turn this, do like this, twist them on each of the connectors. And that way the canopy will be removable. It's going to look weird. Such be life. I'm just going to live with it. All right. I'm going to post this video. And so that's the physical build is finished. 
got some little cleanup work. Label the connectors on the flight controllers for ailerons and stuff. But I won't be doing any more build videos. This is the final assembly right here. Uh, everything from here will just be configuring our plane, which I don't know if I'm going to do videos on that or pretty much most everybody knows how to do our do copter our do plane any of that it's fairly straightforward oh well I'm still not liking it completely but I made the holes in the canopy and I'm gonna live with it all right guys thank you so much